Oh, hi there, uh, Darren at Race Centre here. Uh, we've got a uh, 2021 uh, GSXR. 1000R on the dyno, um, so I thought I'd run you through the tuning options that we have uh, for this bike and what we've done with this bike. Uh, this bike is being converted from a road bike into a track bike, uh, so uh, one of the things that we all part of this job, what we did first was uh, do a blueprint on the valve clearances. Um, we've installed a, a full uh, Acra system onto the bike, uh, also put a DNA, DNA high performance filter in it. Um, after the dyno component, we're then going to do a suspension upgrade on it. Um, but on the uh, dyno uh, and the tune side of it, uh, we've tuned this one through the Woolwich Racing software and uh, done it through the ECU. Um, so you can see we're tapped into all of the ECU sensors. Uh, we're measuring the twist grip, uh, throttle position, uh, RPM and all that sort of thing. Uh, you would have, if you watched some of the other videos, you would have heard me talk about that a lot of modern sports bikes, uh, if you hold a static throttle and then there's the revs rise, the throttles open by themselves. Great job, Suzuki. This one doesn't do it. Um, does it a tiny bit at the start, but you'd hardly notice it. Um, so it's a great job. They're actually quite linear, um, which is fantastic. Overall, I think these are actually a little bit of an underrated bike. Um, in terms of some of the other models out there, they're, they're, they're simplistic in a way, um, but they're awesome, make strong power, great mid-range, great chassis. Um, it's gonna be a lot better once we do the suspension upgrade as well, but um, it's, uh, it's uh, I think, for especially with the price point of the Suzuki's, it's a, it's a great motorcycle. Um, so with the uh, tuning side, first thing we do is we throw our, uh, our map into the ECU and in our map we've got all the sort of standard stuff like disabling top speed uh, limiter, um, turning off for things like the standard O2, uh, uh, O2 sensors and stuff like that. Being a track bike, and that's the other thing to, be, to bear in mind too, um, you, when you're doing an ECU in a full tune, you, it may make your bike uh, not re road legal anymore. This is a full track tune and that's what it's designed for. Um, so uh, the other thing, another part that we do is we actually raise the idle up through the ECU as well. And that just assists with the engine braking so that the bike's smoother into the corner, mid corner, uh, and mid corner when you're picking up the throttle. It actually does make quite a big difference to get the engine braking under control. Um, and in the olden days, you used to just turn the idle screw up. Uh, these days, you've got to do it through the ECU. So we've done that on mix uh, jigsaw, and then through the whole rev range and, and loads of throttle positions. Um, we do our static runs, do the, uh, get all the tuning right, get all the AFR right. Um, and while I said the throttles on this bike are really linear and, and they're great because that's how we want them, we still do put our NJ84 throttle maps into this bike. And the reason for it, you, you'll see on the graph that in A mode, our map and the standard map are almost identical. Um, Again, great job with Suzuki because it's very close to what we would put in anyway as our number one map, so really nice to see. Um, but then you'll see in the standard mode between A and B, there's not a lot of difference other than the initial throttle on the B is slower. Um, and then on the C, it's quite different. Like, so the C is almost like a different motorbike. So what we do is we just, the reason we put our own throttle maps in it or power maps is because it gives you a better, um, a better choice between A, B and C. They just make more sense. Um, so your B is still full power mode, but for maybe an intermediate rider, um, your A would be for a more experienced uh, rider or racer, um, and C mode would be somebody that's, you know, more of a novice rider at track days on their thousand, and also a great wet mode. So um, we give you three, uh, three modes. So uh, we do that, and that, that's the part we call a remap. So the remap includes all the options that, you know, idle and the O2 sensor switched off that disable uh, the top speed limiter, and also the, the throttle maps or the power modes are changed to our NJ84 maps so we do that and that's what the remap part is and then the tune part is sorting out the you know the standard AFR um, air fuel ratio stuff which we've done 
Uh, you'll see on this bike, it doesn't make a lot more peak horsepower. They're actually really good out of the box. Um, unfortunately, just the duration of the job, we didn't have time to do testing to show you graphs with the standard exhaust versus the Acura. Um, so you are only seeing the difference with the tune, um, but it's come up really well. Uh, really happy with how it's come up. Great motorbike. The throttle maps do make it a little bit better and the tune makes it just more responsive and nicer. And the key part of that is, and as discussed in many videos, we're not really looking for peak horsepower numbers. We're looking for usability of the throttle and drive off the turn because that's where the lap time's predominantly gonna be. So um, it's come up great. Um, Mick, I hope you love it. And yeah, that's the uh, Jixa 1000.